All right, for this technique, we're gonna perform a side fold down. Uh, some people call it a Noah's Ark. Of course, there's names for it all different across the world, but uh, we'll call it a Noah's Ark for the day. We're gonna do a vertical lift with the spreader to pull the front hinges off, get us some access. Gives us a nice gap up front, that's what we're looking for. Pulls the crash bar away from the victim. Allows us to get in. Gain a little cleaner access for that spreader so we can position it properly. We want to catch that inner layer of the door frame. Move this fender back out of our way just a little bit so we can get better tip position. Once again, capturing that inner layer of door. Now the next part of this maneuver is to pop the rear door at the latch mechanism. My standard go-to vertical lift. Allows me to pull that door outward. I can see that latch access down on the inside and not fight with it as much, especially with the aerodynamic features of the vehicle. As you can see, we started high where we knew we could get the inner layer to start folding out, so we get that perfect positioning of the tips above the latch but near the reinforcements on the inner layer of the skins so that we can actually take the latch and not just shred metal. So now we've got both the rear latch and the front hinges separated. In a two-man operation, they're usually already cutting our B-post out so we can do the fold down. Now, a lot of ways to do this. One of the ways that I like, again, because we're not tethered to a line anymore, I like to utilize the ram instead of brute force anytime possible so I have better control and get into an ultra high strength steel post it's gonna really make things more effective for you. Again, we talk about the rubber always being a slipping point when we're working. So I try to get, anytime I have rubber or plastic in my way for a connection point or for a purchase point, I like to get that out of my way. So we're gonna come in. There's many ways to do this. We can cut high, we can cut low. But remember, we wanna be able to get this folded outward. And if this is an ultra high strength steel car, we're gonna probably need to put a notch in here. I always like to make my highest cuts last.
once the spreader's done its part, you can take over with the ram. You can always reposition to get more of a push down by sliding further down the post, hitting your solid contact point again. Many people, when they do a side out, they go to a fifth door rip and blitzer or whatever your technique is where you take the back door first cut the b post low rip it all out cut it high and then swing both doors forward this is a great option when the car is laying down an embankment and you've got the ditch line coming up and you're unable to move those doors you can fold this down enough to get your board in and have good access and not always have to work off the high side of the car in that situation so just another technique for the toolbox. You never know which one's gonna work for you on that day that you roll up.